Hello everyone and welcome to Insight with Ojoma Yusuf on Karma TV. Well, today we are doubling into business and I will be discussing on Adamawa Business Place. And that's why I'll be bringing up a consultant today. We'll be discussing together on how you can grow on your business, start up a business and also remain in your business by making good profit. And that's how we're having him here today. So shortly, just sit back and then continue watching Insights. you know um this is business and i love business because i like money and today i won't just be discussing business in adamora state but i have a consultant here with me he's nobody but mr vincent umoro he's the ceo penal saints consulting and contracting service limited so he's here with me today and i'm excited to have you on the show you're thank welcome to the show sir thank you Ojuma. i'm happy to be here all right um you know we are going to be talking about adamora business place today and as a consultant you have a lot to tell us Sure. All right, so firstly, I'll be asking you this. How or what exactly, how can you describe Adamawa State's business, please? I Thank you noticed. very much. Um, Adamawa State business is um, very, is thriving. Mm. Like I say, it's, um, it's a big place. And uh, like you know, Adamawa State is uh, the largest, the one, the marketing movie, is the large, second largest in not uh, as a whole, second mm. to Kano. Mm. There are a lot of things coming out from this place. There are a lot of business coming up, even uh, uh, produce from grains to mm. other professional businesses to hospitality mm. and um, so many of them. So it's a, it's a very, it's like a raw place to have invest from and it's very big and massive, let me use that word. Mm. Um, but there is a gap uh, okay. that is the place for professionalism. Mm. And that is where consultants uh, like us come in. But there is also serious um should i call it a setback then there is more they need to know about um, consultant services how to engage professional services and that is um, what we are here to promote so to say mm. adamawa state is uh, one of the fast developing state in the north north east to be north precise east, yeah. and um, as you can see these are things that comes with uh, little challenges also but business in general, Adamawa is doing well. Hmm, we are doing well. That's a big one and a kudos to Adamawa State. We are doing well. Now, starting up a business, um, you, you know, don't just get up one morning and say, okay, I fail in academics, I fail in my career, I fail in some other things, but, but then let me just dive into business because anybody can stand up and go into business. What are the key things you think one can actually sit down to just calculate before entering business? Do you think... And visibility is one key point we can pick out before venturing into business. Thank you. I know, I don't think, I know it is the okay. first you thing know, you should do. Think. Yes, okay. it's okay. the first thing you should do. Okay. Um, there's an idea that says you don't jump out of the boat, you throw off your legs, you come out one after the other. Mm. You have to take it one step at a time. Okay. You don't just jump into a business because you feel somebody else is doing it and the person mm. is doing well. Mm. Or the business somebody is doing, you like it and you want to go into it. Mm. You have to understand the business that you can do it. You can live in it. You can grow in it. Mm. Now, I, let me use this example. As um, a person, you don't go with um, something like you want to go you like passion i mean fashion, fashion so to say yeah. you like fashion you like somebody that has to come out fresh mm -hmm. look good and changing clothes and being all those stuff yeah. it is uh, the first thing that comes to your mind is to go into fashion business but if you end up become a military person mm -hmm. also to say you are going to be wearing uniform for a very long time mm -hmm. and uh, that will not be satisfactory as far as I'm concerned, so for that person over time. Yeah. So if you want to go into a business, visibility study is what the first thing you have to um, consider this, yeah. before you start. They say, who is it that want to build a house without counting mm. the cost? Mm. You know? So before you even know how to spend, where to spend, how the little you need to start yeah. with, you need to first of all conduct a visibility study. study. And yeah. um, uh, after that being said, you, uh, we as a consultant, we have... Um, so far, within the short period of three to five years in Adamawa, to be precise, mm. we were able to go even to the nitty-gritty of part of the state. Okay. I think I visited over 20 local governments 
Wow. Uh, since my stay, my short period in the, in the north, in yeah. Adama to be precise. And um, we realized there are more to be harvested. Hmm. There are a lot to be done. And we need to bring this to the public uh, view for them to understand that you can actually do much more doing less by engaging a professional service. Hmm. And I have this question for you. You know, um, if I'm thinking of creating a business now, okay. do I have to have a lot on ground before I venture into business? Or with a little capital, I can start off something? Okay. Um, there are a kind of business that you you require a lot, a lot but we don't advise you to go for a lot mm. because you don't know about it. You just start when it crashes, you start from ground zero. Mm. Let's not say you probably you borrowed the money or it was a grant from somewhere, you might end up in frustration. Mm. So, little by little, you grow you into whatsoever thing that you want to become today, tomorrow. Mm. So, if you want to start a business, no matter how big your vision or your dream is, you need to learn how to start small grow into the business yeah. remove your liability from the business when you want to start okay. also don't put your eggs in one basket your total mm. fund in the entire business that you want to start mm. a lot of people made that mistake they start something small let me use um pos to uh, maybe uh, somebody that want to start a pos business yeah was able to get a little fund let me say um five hundred thousand in that five hundred thousand your house rent is two hundred thousand your feeding is 50,000 a month hmm. and um, you are you probably have a co-dependent dependents yeah. and uh, so on and so forth that business will suffer mm -hmm. that business will crumble so learn to separate your personal life from mm -hmm. your yes. business from the start um we use the word slave into your business so that your business can serve you in the future I got that slave into your business so that your business can serve you in the in the future yes. this is a very good one you see um when you have explained this now, right? I know some uh, so many people will be like, okay, that means it means my five k, for instance, can get me a business. Is that true? Like, sure. Is it possible? There is like always... when you're keeping on five k once, and I said, okay, maybe I want to start up this granot business, and five k can be able to just help me grow on in, in in that business exactly. Sure. Um, there is a place for a class for everyone to start mm. five thousand can start a recharge business mm. all you need is requires discipline discipline wow. you need to know that this five thousand that i will not grow into fifty thousand in two weeks <laughs> it's not magic it is not magic it's not rocket wow. science mm. so with five thousand you can start a business but you need to know that your expenses your daily routine your operational fee should not come from this same five thousand for the start Mm. you end mm. up saying that uh, it's not working people say pure water you wonder sometimes you see them running on the street with probably one bag of pure water in the bucket on their head you see them ending up getting 20 naira per day only on one bucket if they spend 20 naira spend the um, the capital from yeah, that you tomorrow you won't see them on the street hmm. so you need to know how to recycle hmm. uh, people think uh, it's actually very easy when you ask them what do you want to do well, if i have money now I'll just go into a business. Let me just have like five million. Let me have five million. Nobody like, 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 will give five million to start a business. Mm. No matter how rich that person is, you need mm. to engage in something before you can be engaged mm. with something. Wow, I caught that. Mm. You need to engage in something before you can be engaged with something. Mm. Well, guys, you're going on a short break right now, and we turn shortly to continue on the show. You have to sit there to learn. Like I'm also learning. So please sit back and learn. Thank you so much for watching. This is Insight. We're going on a short break. All right, people, you welcome back from that short break, and I'm sure you're learning, as I've said before, and I've been here with a consultant, nobody but Mr. Vincent Umoro, the CEO, Penel Saints Consulting and Contracting Service Limited here in Adamawa State, mm -hmm. and they've been doing great in their job. Also, you're welcome back from that short break. Thank you. And you see, I have this question quickly for you, okay. and this question is, um. I know I, I learned about a summit that's coming up shortly here in Yula, yeah. and um, your company is one organizing it. 
So, and I was going to see business summit because you're a business consultant, but I saw power summit. So I'm a little bit confused in this. So why power summit? What is it about exactly? Okay. Um, <clears throat> thank you for that question again. Yes, um, we are business consultants. Mm. But for business to grow, there are elements involved. Okay. You need a conducive environment to thrive, to operate. Mm. You need um, government policies okay. for enabling business to thrive. Mm. You also need um, security mm. for business to thrive. So when you put all these components together, mm. there are like a power force that drives a successful economy. Mm. So we use that word power because for every, the life of a thing is in the blood. For you to have um, a successful or smooth sailing, mm. you require a power. force, mm. and which is power. And okay. that's why we came up with Power Summit, not just Business Summit. Okay, so if it's for instance, I'm um, planning to come for this summit, what should I be expecting? What's the summit all about? What's, a lot. Like, yes, like if I'm coming now, what should I expect to have in my head as a business person? Maybe I have a company already running, but then I'm coming for this summit. What should I expect to get? Let me use it. Let me use the word mind shift. Hmm. <clears throat> mind shift. There's going to be a transition from what you already know okay. from a place that you can get to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, um, Power Summit in general, we discuss startup businesses and future. Okay. It's not enough to start. Mm. You need to sustain what you have started. Mm. Then you now realize that now you are stable, you can now grow into expansion, mm. can now diversify into other kind of project okay. or product in your business. But a lot of people start to turn business and they remain in that business and they feel, why, why, what is it that I'm not doing well? What is it that I need to do? Yeah, to expand. For whatever you want to do, see a future in it. Okay. So uh, that is going to be discussed extensively. Now we are, we'll be having a special guest that is very vast, very, very vast. Let me, if I use that word, yeah. uh, Mr. Julius Bedomti. I think that's the right name to call. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, from MCP, MCRP. Okay. Yes. So it's going to give us great insight. Mm. I'm also going to be there to learn more. Mm. There is also, <laughs> yeah, of course, there's also uh. room to learn more. Mm. Now, the thing is, if you do not learn, you are going to um, be left behind mm. in a sure. lot of things. Sure. So a power summit is futuristic. Mm. Whatsoever you think you know, whatever you think you are already doing, please put it there, come with zero knowledge. Mm. Come with and zero come and knowledge. absorb. <laughs> mm. Come and absorb. So we are going to. It's going to be insightful. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be um, a, a home for learning. Okay. And this is our maiden edition. We are putting it together for a couple of um, time, but we decided to push it forward now so. as the maiden edition. But God's willing, next year we are going to have something comprehensive mm. that um, we have a lot of guest speakers going to discuss. And even uh, concerning this power summit, yeah. we have uh, professionals in. Um, social media, please. Okay. That will tell you how to manage that space. Mm, people, very keen. Yes, people think, um, okay, I have a phone. I will display it. a lot of people screw past status. Mm. So they, they, we need to know how to manage, how to monetize your their social media activities. Okay. Not enough to buy um, the charge card or data to um, be consuming it on TikTok and every other <laughs> entertainment. Mm. You need to make money. You need to generate money from whatsoever okay. thing you are spending. Mm. Your time, your uh, data, your everything you do. Mm. Learn how to make money from it. Mm. So it's going to be part of this we are going to be discussing. Uh -huh. um, should, I, should I continue? I think I'm very interested in the aspect of you saying they're going to teach us on how to work because you know, so many of you today have phones, yes, and then we spend money getting data daily, and all we do there is just watch videos, laugh, and for, and for some business persons too, they just believe you just to drop it on your timeline, and people will see and call you and just say, okay, we want to buy this stuff. So if you have someone that can educate us really on that issue, it's going to be key and good. Yes, so uh, say people said um, uh, they underutilize the use of phone mm. and social media space. Uh, now in uh, China, TikTok is not everything in TikTok that the um, the kind of creativity that they share. Mm -hmm. Everything about TikTok in their own space is about it's learning. It's okay. different. It's about learning. So we're going to discuss more on things like that. Okay, I have one last question for you. What, 
But before that question, we're going to a short break and we'll return back shortly. So just thank you for watching and thank you for staying back over there to watch inside. Thank you. Welcome back from that short break. I've been here since with Mr. Vincent, our uh, one and only business consultant. Mm -hmm. So, sir, um, you see, there's this question I want to uh, um, have this clarity about. Is there anything you think, um, are there any other information you feel we should know about this forthcoming power summit? Sure, we have made it um, registration free for wow. Adama State. So, there's no gate fee, no registration. Just come and absorb, come and learn and relearn. If there's something you know before, mm. you do again. We are holding it at um, Fastnet Cinema, okay, opposite uh, Federal Secretariat along Yola Road. Mm. So it's absolutely free for every participant at all level. Okay, and yes. you just told us where it will be held. Yes, but, then, um, what's the date? On the sixteenth, this Saturday. Wow, this yes. Saturday, ten a.m. Okay, I don't think um, if you have a business out there. And then you are not at that summit, or you are not planning to be at that summit. You are going to be missing a lot, so you have to be there. Lastly, sir, there's this advice I want you to give to people. Some persons that started business, they failed, and then they feel um, business is not my thing, and then they are already discouraged, they are down, they've lost money, and all of that. What can you say to this kind of people, to this set of people? Okay, um, on my flyer, I wrote Adamawa mm -hmm. Business consultancy discourse that's a b c d mm. anybody can do business mm. Mm. anybody can do business the fact that you feel doesn't mean you are failed mm. you just need the right approach and the right consultant to engage and guide you yeah. in the proper direction so it's not uh, before because you feel doesn't mean the business is not for you you can still do business and for as many that want to start again Make sure you don't miss it. It's 10 a.m. and it's going to be worth a while. Mm. For those of you that have failed before, or you're planning to start up a business, or you're already in the business and you're doing well, yes. you all have to be there. So long you're doing anything in business, sure. you have to be at that power summit. Sure. Thank you so much for coming to the show yeah, today. Welcome. I'm excited to have you and I'll be hoping to have you another time sure, it's my pleasure. on my show. I had a fun time. All right. Okay, guys, we are around, we are wrapping up the show today. I don't feel like stopping because it's so interesting. <laughs> but then, last, last, we have to go. So thank you for giving us your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, and drop your comments on our pages, Kama TV Online. Thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.